What's going on guys, it's your boy DPJ here today with another Destiny video and in today's Destiny video I want to discuss something I picked up on when going through the gaming form a recent feature of the Taken King DLC and if you guys missed that I will link it in the video description. Now they were talking about the new patrol area we get to explore, that being the Dreadnought. Now this place is going to be absolutely massive and if you haven't seen the map of the place I will show you guys on screen now. It looks pretty fucking big, it really does. But do you guys know what's going to make this feel 100 times bigger than any other planet we get to explore? The fact you can't use your sparrow. Yes, according to Game Informer, which they state they found annoying at first, you cannot actually use your sparrow on the Dreadnought. But because the action is more compact, they didn't feel it was an issue. Something we will have to judge for ourselves when the Taken King comes out. Now about the Dreadnought. They state, which we have all heard from Bungie themselves, that this place is going to have loads of hidden areas and new places popping up to explore. Game Informer state this place is full of disappearing platforms, I'm guessing like the ones we see in the Vault of Glass, but obviously on a different scale with more places to explore. Game Informer also state that there is an exotic weapon which has been broken down into 50 pieces and scattered around the Dreadnought. Now this is going to be extremely exciting to piece together and it's the type of thing I love it really is. It gives a reason to explore and find hidden things and I can almost guarantee there are more than just parts to an exotic weapon hidden around a dreadnought. So what is this exotic weapon game informer talk about? Well to me it makes sense that this is the sleeper simulant, the heavy weapon fusion rifle. Early images of this weapon were just of it in pieces and it's these pieces I believe are scattered around the Dreadnought. It's the exotic weapon most associated with the Taken King at the moment and they haven't tried hiding this fact. And this further gives us the sense of this weapon being one we can all work towards and achieve. I just hope it isn't another fad just like how the Murmur was, even though that was not an exotic. In an earlier feature of the Taken King by Game Informer, they mentioned specific activities in which we must do to obtain the sleeper simulant and I'll quote them right here a dedicated quest line of multiple missions must be completed in order to get the sleeper simulant the story of the weapon sees players tracking down ancient relics from humanity's golden age and returning them to Banshee these trigger a memory in the old gunsmith that opens up an odyssey to repair and reactivate the long forgotten weapon Along the way, some puzzles may be hard for any one individual to figure out on their own. Even the initial acquisition of the questline comes from a clue you find hidden somewhere in the Destiny universe. I feel that the 50 pieces of this weapon that must be acquired from the Dreadnought are a part of the questline to obtain the Sleeper Simulant. I mean, I could be wrong, but this is what I feel. But none of this information has been confirmed factual by Bungie themselves. So this weapon that is scattered across the Dreadnought could be something else. But at this point, from what I've seen and heard, I feel that it is the Sleeper Simulant. But guys, what do you guys think? Let me know down below in that comments section. Are you guys looking forward? Are you hyped? Are you pumped for the Taking King? Let me know. Thanks for stopping by as always. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Do drop a like. I do appreciate the support. And peace out until next time. Peace.